Hi guys, recently I made this Korean steamed ginger and garlic sea bass, pak choy and rice, and it was so healthy but still really delicious. It doesn't take much prep either, and it can be done ahead of time, so everything can be cooked in 15 minutes. First, take two heads of pak choy. I'm cooking for two people, so I think one head is enough per person. And just separate the leaves and keep them in a bowl. Next, you're going to take three cloves of peeled garlic and slice them up really thinly and add them to the bowl as well. Now take about 30 grams of ginger. I'm going to use about half of this piece. I'm going to peel it and slice it into julienne strips or matchsticks. Now add them to the bowl as well. Keep this other little bit for the sauce. Now I'm going to take about five anchovy fillets and just chop them up and add them as well. This will add a real subtle saltiness to it and people who don't like anchovies won't know they're eating it because they totally dissolve in the pan and cook with the bak choy. Finally to the bowl I'm just going to add about two tablespoons of mirin. This is rice wine, not rice wine vinegar and if you don't have that at a push you could use white wine. Now just set that aside so it'll be fried up last minute. Now take a small saucepan to mix your sauce ingredients together. Start off with three tablespoons of mirin, followed by three tablespoons of soy sauce. Then set it aside for a second while you chop up that last knob of ginger into julienne strips and add it to the pot. Now take two cloves of peeled garlic and slice them up really finely before you add them to the sauce as well. Now add a teaspoon of sugar followed by some of these gochugaru, which are Korean red chilli flakes. They're kind of hard to come by, but you can buy them online and they are essential for Korean cooking. If you can't find them, you can leave them out or you could add maybe half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Here though, I'm adding a whole teaspoon of gochugaru because they aren't so hot, but they have a really beautiful flavour. Give it a quick mix just to help everything dissolve and set aside until later. This won't need much cooking at all, it just needs to be warmed through. Now for the fish, I'm just going to use a regular steamer. If you have one of those bamboo Asian ones, they're great, they look cool, but this will do just fine. Now take a really big piece of ginger, maybe 100 grams or so, just to chop really chunkily and sit it in the steamer so that the fish sits on it. You don't need to peel the ginger here and this will give the fish so much flavour. Now you're going to take a whole bulb of garlic. This is a small bulb and break it up into its cloves, peel the cloves and chop them up really chunkily. You don't have to be fine here at all. You actually want the garlic to be big enough so that it won't fall through the little holes in the steamer. Now pile it all into the steamer, spreading it evenly along the base and prep your beautiful sea bass fillets. Score the skin by pinching the fish, tensing up the flesh. The knife will go in more easily then. I should say that this recipe is based on one that I saw an amazing Korean chef named Judy Ju do except she used thin ribbons of courgette instead of pak choy. I couldn't find courgette at the time, so I just used the pak choy instead. When they're both scored, drizzle just a little bit of mirin on the skin and rub it in. Sprinkle over a generous pinch of sea salt flakes and lay the fish skin side up on top of the ginger and garlic. These will be happy sitting out or in the fridge for a couple of hours until they're ready to cook. Then place them over a large pot of boiling water Put the lid on and let them steam for 15 minutes. Also take your sauce and place it over a really, really low heat while the fish steams. Once the fish has had five minutes, remove the steamer and drop in a packet of boil in the bag rice. This is for two people and that'll need 10 minutes of boiling. So replace the steamer for the last 10 minutes. When the fish has about seven minutes steaming left, add a tablespoon of olive oil to a hot frying pan and pile in the pak choy with the ginger, garlic, anchovy and mirin. Then just stir fry for about seven minutes and then everything will be cooked at the same time and you can serve up. Just divide the rice between the two plates, pile over the pak choy, gently place over the sea bass. This is so tender so it could fall apart. Finally, drizzle over that sauce. You won't need much of this because it's really, really strongly flavoured. And then just dig in and enjoy. This really was so healthy and delicious and really easy as well. I definitely recommend it. 
Thanks a million for watching guys. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can check me out on social media. All the links to my accounts are in the description below, as well as the link to my Korean food playlist and the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.